Hey everyone, Edna is not remaining quiet. This thing is keeping us very busy and this is not something minor. This is something strong that Edna is doing there. And if you've seen my last video where I have explained to you how the mountain top and the mountain in general looks, how the different craters are situated and where we have seen the lava flows and the most activity. And again, it's the Voragine crater that is causing that and you see a picture here that is absolutely up to date right now happening right now it's a live picture of course it's daytime in Italy right now so I want to show you this picture so you can see the different levels and the different craters and you can see exactly where the steam is coming from right now so Mount Etna on the island of Sicily part of the Ring of Fire part of the Aeolian Island but there's also volcanoes that are underwater and that are lurking there and that are equally or even more and more dangerous. Mazili, for example, check out my last video, just the video that I released a few hours ago. It's going to be in the end screen if you want to know more what's going on there because we have all these volcanoes here that are lined up at Italy's coast and in Italy because there's two tectonic plates that have the boundaries that's causing this as well. So dangerous stuff there going on. And Etna, of course, Sicily is way more populated than Stromboli, for example. Stromboli is acting up as well, but there's between 400 and 800 people on Stromboli. If there's tourists, it's 1,500. Same with Sicily. I mean, right now it's summertime. All the tourists are there. So of course they're enjoying this spectacle, but Etna is really, this is a strong eruption again. It's a strong new eruptive episode and it is classified also as paroxysm. And what is paroxysm? Paroxysm, you can say, it's a violent, explosive, eruptive event. And that's exactly what Etna is doing. It's in progress at the Voragine crater of Etna. And you see the crater here. So there were already like strong explosions on Etna yesterday on July 22nd. So already there something was going on and then it became early in the night at this morning local time 1 a.m. July the 23rd in Italy. There was an ash plume again of several kilometers in height, guys. It was rising up from the summit of Etna and then it was drifting east-southeast. And what comes with this paroxysm is, of course, an increased in seismicity as well. If you look at this graph, it shows you basically the same image. One is thermal and the one is the one in real time. And the violent tremor that has led up to this violent eruption remains um, continuous and very high. It doesn't go down. Usually with other eruptions, you know, there's a peak and once the magma starts flowing, the tremors usually stop. But if it's very violent and highly explosive, it keeps trembling. So right now that Voragine crater is at about 2,900 meters in height. So Etna is about 10,000 feet in height, 3,000 meters. So it's not completely at the top. You've seen it here in the picture as well. So you see it's a little lower. There's other higher parts. Um, so it has continuous high rates, high effusion rates of magma that it shows there. And, you know, you see this picture here. It's, it's impressive. It looks really, really cool. And then you see that's the seismic graph that it was showing yesterday. So it wasn't too bad. And also that was last night. And then if you compare the picture of last night with today, you see that it's definitely more. And when you look at um, a satellite picture that I show you here, I mean, it's been doing something almost continuously. That was taken on July 17th. You can see how the lava flows down there. Um, we have really covered that. And then July 15th, there were 
intermittent explosions at the northeastern crater and those were really really high it's looked like a high column that's spewing up in the air you see the thermal image here and also there you can see the earthquake graph it also went up very very high there but the interesting thing is right that it has been doing this over the weeks so it's basically yeah we can say continuously there's a web picture of july 11th and there's a real-time picture that was taken on july 14th you see the ashes coming up in the air and uh yeah, so they also have shown here this picture that I want to show you again. You see the Voragine crater. You see how the lava is flowing. So that was interesting. And uh, yeah, now it's spilling stuff up in the air again and keeping us busy. So continuous activity at Etna. And since you see all the craters here, there's the northeastern crater, there's Voragine, and there's the Bocca Nuova crater as well that has been basically filled up by lava last time. So it's observed that a lava overflow has began again from the western rim of the Bocca Nuova crater. And what they're saying, this is their update just right now, they're saying from a seismic point of view, the average amplitude of the volcanic tremor has further increased. So will the eruption become even stronger? So they say that the sources of these tremors still remain in the area of the Voragine crater at an elevation, as just mentioned, 2,900, 3,000 meters above sea level. Also, what they have recorded at the Voragine crater is a further increase in the frequency and a further increase in the frequency of occurrence and the amplitude of these infrasonic events that are localized at the Voragine crater. And also the amplitude of the infrasonic tremor is increasing. So everything is increasing. What about, do we have surface deformation? You know, that usually comes with surface deformation. If, if magma chambers are filling up, it comes with a land rise. And then if we see an eruption, it's usually subsiding, shrinking together. And they say that their network shows clear variations and more evident of course at the summit measuring stations so they have a dilatometer at the monte ruvolo and it has accumulated a decompression that is currently still being updated but makes sense since the magma chamber is emptying itself out at the moment So this is the real-time data. Again, you see it's still going up. Will it go down after that or will it continue to rise up? It's a pretty significant increase if you compare it from July 16th up to today. So it's really, it's, it's significant. Here you can see the seismic activity at Sicily. So that is also in the morning in Sicily. As of right now, you see between four o'clock and six o'clock, 6.15 in the morning. So it keeps going, it keeps going. It's not going flat. And then I wanna show you the list of the earthquakes. They have a map here where they show you where on Sicily these earthquakes are taking place, where Mount Etna basically is. Here you can see on this map the recent earthquakes. So the most recent earthquakes, they're orange. There's the list of the recent earthquakes and you can see in the red square where Etna is, there is a cluster they're going on but you know there's quite a few earthquakes all over the place if i look at this and uh 
the bigger the circle, the bigger the earthquakes. So they have all been in the magnitude between one and two as it looks at the moment. So quick Etna update, I will keep you updated for sure. There's more updates that I wanna prepare. There's two more volcanoes. If you like this video, please leave it a like. That helps my channel and subscribe if you're new here. I'd love to have you as a new viewer to my channel. And uh, I'm struggling to make the outro right now. I don't know, I think I'm a little bit exhausted and tired right now today. So I'll leave it at that. And uh, yeah, I'll move on to the next video about the next volcanoes that are acting up. They, they don't give me a break, guys. Um, see you soon, thank you so much. Bye-bye.